Where are we going? Oh, we're going to Seattle first, and then we're gonna travel across Washington a bit. So you're not happy about this, obviously. I can see. I'm not happy about waking up at three, whatever, forty. We woke up at a little bit too early. Are he doesn't there? care. We're going for Seattle. Our journey to Seattle started with a ferry ride, which is pretty obvious taking into account we live on the island. I don't know where we're fishing actually, no. So, after Seattle we're gonna go to Yakima. Uh, or, as we call it, Yak. I've just learned that it's cool to call it Yak, not Yakima. But anyway, we're going there, we're gonna fish up there. Um, and then, we'll see. Maybe we'll head some, somewhere else as well. Fish. Have fun. Goho Ferry took us to Port Angeles covering 37 kilometers in 90 minutes. It made her first sailing in 1959, so it was in the last century. Yeah, I don't know how this happened, but we ended up in another ferry. Good morning. Uh, no. Overall, Seattle is only four and a half hours away, including the Paris. So that's not that long of a ride. It's really weird to see like, the city around us on GPS, because usually when we go somewhere, if we're lucky, the GPS knows there is a road. But in most of the cases, it doesn't even know that the road exists. Wanna dance with somebody? I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Hungry. Okay. Really let's, hungry. Let's, I'm really hungry. Let's go and find to something, something to eat. White Place Market is one of the oldest continuously operating public farmers markets in the US. Although you can probably find any type of food you can imagine up here, we never really got a chance to enjoy local restaurants because of poop. Traveling with a dog has its downsides, so we mostly have to enjoy Seattle from the outside. Thankfully, there's a lot you can enjoy just walking the streets of Seattle with a cup of coffee in your hands. And that cup of coffee just has to be Starbucks while in Seattle. One of the tourist attractions that impressed us most was a 16-foot tall bronze statue of Lenin. <laughs> Next stop, Fremont Troll. Troll lives on the George Washington Memorial Bridge. And as you can see, just grabbed a Volkswagen Beetle from the road above. We took a peek of T-Mobile Park, home to Seattle Mariners, while leaving Seattle and heading to central Washington, with the next stop in Ellensburg. So we spotted a marmot. Groundhog. Ah, groundhog. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Steve. Steve. Ah, oh, he's <laughs> hiding. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Good morning. So, what do you think? Is it gonna be a good day? It's gonna be a good day. Hopefully. Yeah. We're going to the fly shop, right? Yep. Yes. Yay! Let's catch some fish. 
So we're leaving our campground. See you, Steve. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See his face. <laughs> I guess we're stuck. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take a while. Okay. Well, I guess we've reached our final, well, not final, but the destination. So we finished our shopping part of the trip. Got some flies. Cool. <laughs> a few flies up here. Now we're just gonna pinch some barbs. Are you feeling coop? Too hot. Too hot. drinking a gluten-free beer. The thing is, I had no idea. I had no idea about a gluten-free beer. You know, if, uh, it tastes good. Damn hippie. So this guy just got himself gluten-free beer and now he's trying to wait. Yakima River. Look at him go. She's on. Oh, it's strong. Good shot. Oh, okay. I was trying to get a nice shot of him. It was a great shot. It was a big one, yeah. Yeah, we're from that camping. Yeah, we we've checked out. So if if you if you're keeping your list, you can cross us out. We paid. We're good. <laughs> okay, Steve. <laughs> Have a nice day. That's what I found. Um, that's a rattlesnake. I'm not gonna bug him, but he's he's right there. We had multiple wildlife encounters this trip, 
but seeing a turkey with four chicks was definitely a highlight. Next stop was Yakimus River tributary, Natchez River. The river's name comes from the Indian word Nath, means rough or turbulent, and Chaz, meaning water. Along the way, we found some petroglyphs, most likely inspired by this rock formation. One of the pools we've stopped at was a home to hundreds of garter snakes. I've never seen so many in one place. While climbing over Chinook Pass, snow became part of the July landscape. Of course, we got out and hiked a tiny part of the Pacific Crest Trail. The Pacific Crest Trail, or PCT, passes through 25 national forests and 7 national parks. With about 100 meters hiked, we only have 4,269 kilometers to go, but that will have to be another trip. This is Mount Rainier, one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. 4% battery left. journey came to an end in Port Angeles, where we've spent almost a whole day because we did not have a ferry reservation. Lesson learned, we'll do better next time. <laughs>